Welcome back guys. I'm so glad you could join me today. This is just going to be a quick video for you to go ahead and give you some basic timelines and some things to consider when it comes to our makeup products. Um, I do have some notes here so I'll try to be as brief as possible and just give you some basic information that I hope you like. The first thing is going to be sunscreen because all of us ladies make sure that we are using our sunscreen to avoid premature aging and sun damage. You can actually keep these products for up to one year even though it may have an expiration on the product that is prior to that. The things to keep in mind when you are looking at whether you're going to keep this past any given expiration is going to be if it has separated, changed smell, or discolored in some way. So it's very important to examine the products when you get them so that you know what it originally smelled like, what its consistency was, and what color it was. If you see any separation, changing of color, or smell in the product, even if it hasn't reached its expiration point, it's probably contaminated in some way and you want to go ahead and get rid of that particular product. As far as face creams go, you can keep those for one year as long as they're in a pump. If you're using it out of a jar with your fingers, you're going to need to dispose of the product six to nine months after you begin using it. This is because your fingers have bacteria, germs, dirt, oils, all kinds of wonderful things on them. And even if you're sanitizing your hands ahead of time, you're still transferring some contaminant. I do recommend whenever you're using a jar product, go ahead and um, get like a, a plastic scooper that's non-porous that you can sanitize and use that to scoop your products out. That way you're not going to contaminate them and you can go more according to if you are pumping it out because you're not actually contaminating that product. Do keep in mind you're not going to get a full year doing that because of the fact that you are still exposing it to air and there's all kinds of stuff in the air. But you will at least get closer to that nine month mark usually. Um, you also want to do the same thing, check for discolorations, check for changes in smells, check for changes in consistency. All of these are indicators that the product is reaching the end of its lifespan. Um, in addition, make sure you're keeping all of those products closed tightly. You don't want it to evaporate and concentrate the product, especially if you're using some sort of alpha hydroxy cream. Um, because it's going to actually concentrate it and that's going to lead to irritation or oversaturation of that particular product on your face. So make sure they are closed up nice and tight so that you don't have to worry about any of those kinds of concerns from it. Now the next thing is, let's see, fragrances. One of our favorite things, right? And we can spend a lot of money on our fragrances. So it's good to know that you can keep a fragrance for up to two years and it won't cause any issues. Now obviously you're going to be adding air to the product each time you spritz it on or each time you open it if you're using a do uh, dopper to put on your perfumes. And that's going to cause some evaporation and a change in the scent. But as long as you still like the way the, the fragrance smells when you put it on, it's perfectly fine to keep a fragrance for up to two years. Next is mascaras. Now these are a little tricky because there's a, a debate as to when you should throw away a mascara. The information that I uh, go by and am going to pass on to you is two to three months. Most mascaras at two months are going to be used enough if you're using it on a daily basis that it's going to need to go ahead and be disposed of. If it's a mascara that you're not using every day, you'll get closer to the three months. You do want to make sure that you're paying attention to the smells and the consistency of the mascara and of course if there's been any eye contamination from infections and things like that. Um, if a mascara is drying out, you want to dispose of it. If you notice any change in the smell whatsoever, definitely dispose of it. It doesn't matter how long you've had it. If you can take it back to the store, then do that if it you know, does something weird within the time frame that the store allows you to bring back the products. Um, but basically, you're going to be able to use a mascara for two to three months 
if you don't use it up first. It really depends on how often you're using it, how many different mascaras you're using at one time. Um, so definitely try to keep track of when you crack open that mascara so that you can dispose of it in a timely manner. Uh, the last thing is just going to touch on eyeshadows because most of us have a lot of those in our collections. You can keep an eyeshadow for up to three years. Um, depending on where you go and who you're talking to, you may get told six months to three years and anywhere in between. The predominant information I was able to locate did say that you could keep a shadow for up to three years, but there are some things to consider, just like with face creams and everything else. If there's any contamination of the product whatsoever, i.e. you've gotten some sort of an eye infection, styes, things like that, you want to dispose of any and all products that you use during, before that infection. The reason for that is you're risking a future infection because you used it. Um, you can't just wait it out and wait for those, you know, enzymes, germs, cells, whatever may have the caused the infection to go away. You do need to dispose of any and every product and replace them. I know for some of us, sometimes that can mean quite a, a loss of expense on our part, but it's much better than getting reinfected by any organisms that may survive. Don't try to sterilize the products. It's not going to be worth the risk. You will inevitably ruin the product trying to do so. Um, another thing to keep in mind when you're holding on to your shadows is going to be whether or not they're changing consistency. I know I've had shadows that when I first got them, they were soft and creamy even though they were, you know, a powdered pressed shadow. And then over time, you will notice that it seems to be dried out or a lot more powdery than it once was. So make sure you're paying attention to the products. I know some of us have a lot of stuff and it can be hard to keep track and remember this is what this one was like, this is what that one was like, this is what this smelled like, this is what consistency this was. But it really is important to keep track of those things so that you can dispose of things in a timely manner once they have become unuseful basically. Um, and we just need to keep that in mind when we're purchasing products as there may be a situation that arises where even though we haven't used it all, we need to go ahead and dispose of it. Also a helpful tip when you are using eyeshadows and we have a tendency to sweep our brush in like this or wiggle it around and cause fallout all over the shadows, don't blow on it. Tap it off just like a widget brush because you're actually contaminating the product. That's why we don't blow on our brushes and so we're not putting bacteria on our eyes from our mouth. Well, if you're going like that, you're doing the same thing. So just something to keep in mind. I hope you found this information useful. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.